hopper going. If we have the steel. Okay. Right. That was quite quick. I can see that I've already gone live to the left side of the screen. Hi there, chat. Good morning and welcome. Uh, right. Hang on, bear with me. So the guys are just getting inside. It's already five in the evening. Oh, it's just an eclipse, I see. So it's darker, yeah, because there's a moon in front of the sun. So what's everyone doing? Jonah's getting food. Coloma's dropping off a dead rabbit. Sodium's going to bed. Yeah, people are winding down. Have the prisoners eaten? No, Jonah's just taking food to them. All right. Okay. Oh, of course, because we just had the... Uh... We should be fine. People should be able to rest. I mean, these injuries are quite minor. They should close up on their own. Right. Maybe get Hawk to... Well, Coloma's the doctor, technically. Uh, yeah, actually, having we'll have Coloma quickly just to see to the wounds, rather than not... So, Coloma, have you been set to self-tend? Uh, how do I do that again? Self-tend. There we go. Uh, don't worry about meds. Not that we have many. Yeah, just uh, patch up that bite on your leg there. Uh, yes, uh, sorry, welcome, uh, Hell's Maestro. And uh, hi there, Messi. Yes, uh, don't worry, I'll do an update on the YouTube side of things in a few moments. I'm just waiting for uh, the chat to fill up a bit. Okay, so Coloma, our herbalist, is just off to treat the people who have taken a few injuries for, from some rogue rabbits that have gone nuts. Okay, won't take a moment. Thank you, Cyanide Elf. Thank you very much. Okay, patch up sodium. Jonah didn't take any injuries, so we're all good. Right. Three people have a major break risk. Yeah, not good. Is Coloma one of them? No. Cool. He's off to get some food, then probably go to bed. So, uh, welcome, folks. Uh, welcome and uh, good morning to you all. Thank you, The Hub Games and Kyle Bryce. Thank you kindly. Thank you very much. So, um, yeah, I hope everyone's having a good uh, week so far. That This week is going very quickly. Holy shit. Uh, so, it's already Thursday. This morning, I went to go see my mum, and we got a coffee, and we just uh, had a catch-up, as per usual. Lulu got cuddles and biscuits and, and got to see... My mother, and she's very fond of my mother. So, um, oh, good luck, Will. Good luck with your GCSE results, sir. Um, so, um, yeah. So what? So today, the plan is to continue with the latest bullshittery, which takes the form of Anti-Stasi Bullshittery Part 3. So it's the same armor game that we were playing a while ago, and the third part of it. So the patrons and the Twitch subs voted on what they would like for the next bullshittery project. And they voted for anti stasi and so uh, their wish is my command, and I'm just editing away on it, really. And, yeah, I've, I've, uh, I spent the day yesterday mostly working on structural stuff. I'm, I just need to move the clips around and try and make sure that episodes 4 and 5 of this series are not either, either overstuffed or undercooked when it comes to the jokes that are available. And I think it's all good. So today I'll just be focusing on text and animations and just... I'll sit down, there'll be about 2 minutes and 30 seconds done when I sit down at 1 o'clock. And when I get up again, there'll be about 3 minutes and 30 seconds done. Uh, it is a slow process, unfortunately, but it, that, that is just the nature of lots of visual effects when it comes to editing. So, yeah, that, that's the plan. So the Too Long Didn't Read version is, I'm working on the latest bullshittery. It is Anti-Stasi Bullshittery Part 3. And um, I'm just doing the text and the animations. So it's still going to be some time, I'm afraid. Right. Thank you, Romulus. Thank you very much, Romulus. So as for right now, Lulu's going to have a nap. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to play a bit of RimWorld. So welcome indeed. So welcome to Neverglade. This is a temperate forest where the colonists from the resulting colony ship accident, whatever happened in space there, have crash landed here. Pretty much, well, just to the north, uh, middle northish side of this giant continent. Many different other smaller colonies have cropped up all over as survivors try to make the best of their horrible situation. To the north, obviously we have Tundrafall, the previous playthrough, they're probably getting set up. To the south, we'll have the Leafy Crevice, they're also working on, uh, well, surviving. And we're here, so we've crash-landed on the edge of this forest near a river, 
where we've cleared a section of the forest in order to make, well, a small but very flammable base out of wood primarily. And we're working on trying to get, well, we're just trying to survive really. Uh, we've already had a cannibal attack. We've had some tribals attack us. Bill Rabe was captured, a 17-year-old cannibal female. And this other guy crash-landed nearby. He belongs to another group of bandits. So, um, yeah. A uh, guy called, uh, guy called Gunner. Scammer in the chat sending spam DMs. Yeah, I'm sure there would be Pig Dog. It's Twitch. But it's all right. People should know to avoid sp uh, scammers by now. It's just part of the internet. Okay. What happened to the cartoon, Hell's Maestro? So I spent about five weeks of work on it, but it's nowhere near finished. So that's been put to one side now. And yeah, I'm cracking on with the latest bullshittery. Okay, so quick introductions. So this is Jonah. He's a 51-year-old evangelist. So he's a religi religious preacher. He's cleaning up some blood before bed. And he's a bit of a ladies' man. He started flirting with Nervous Hawk immediately after landing. So, yeah, interesting. He also handles the prisoners since he's quite good. You know, he's quite charismatic being a preacher. And a lot of the manual labor, such as cleaning and hauling. And also, when he grew up, uh, when he was younger, he used to live in a cave managing the, I think, hydroponics, or at least the, the growing of mushrooms. So he has been planting crops for us. So the preacher, also with a green thumb, who helps about with the manual tasks. What's he doing here? Cleaning rubble. Can he, hang on, haul these, uh, these dead rabbits in, take them to the freezer? There should be four of them. Where's the last one? Uh, oh, it's outside. Yeah, we'll have him just bring those indoors quickly. Right. Um, after that, so that's uh, Jonah, the uh, evangelist. We have sodium peroxide. She's a vac-grown soldier, so she's artificially aged. So she's 20, 22 years old, but she's, well, been around as an adult much longer. When she was an adult, well, yeah, when she grew up, she started working for that military science division, becoming a very capable scientist. So she has... Quite significant boost to her intellectual capacity. She's also greedy and a psychopath, so she's less vulnerable to morale shocks being a psychopath. And greedy, meaning that, uh, well, she wants an impressive bedroom and she doesn't have one. Thank you, DJK and AK Meister. And Sherlock, thank you kindly. Thank you very much. So that's sodium peroxide. So an evangelist with Jonah and a vac grown soldier with sodium. We have Hawk. Hawk is a 44 year old food taster, used to work for a feudal world king. Um, she's obviously uh, quite, uh, well, I was, I was going to say, uh, sorry, she's quite neurotic, so she's fast moving on her feet, and, and when it comes to her global work speed, but she also breaks very easily. Uh-oh. The generator just ran out of wood. We have no electricity to run the freezer. Um, and we don't have any wood. That needs to be an urgent priority. Hang on. So let me just chop wood. Do we not have any wood? No, evidently not. Hawk, I need you to go out there quickly. Get some wood, cut it down and bring it in before it gets too wet. Thank you, Agarob. Thank you very much, Agarob. So yes, Hawk is the food taster who is also quite neurotic and breaks easily, but also sleeps very quickly. She regenerates energy fast. So, so far, she's mostly been handling the, handling the cooking tasks, being a food taster. And um, yeah, and also keeps getting insulted by other people, specifically Coloma. So Coloma is a 26-year-old villager who's just arrived in the colony, a herbalist. So pretty good with, well, growing crops. But principally, we're having him build bricks for us because he's, he's a pretty enthusiastic crafter. He's also quite psychically hypersensitive, also greedy, so he wants an impressive bedroom. And he's also got quite a few, well, likes. When, so this indicates a passion for a particular activity. So I'm hoping he'll be able to proceed down the crafting tree quite quickly. Fingers crossed. Anyway... Welcome to Neverglade. Wait, Sodium's gone hunting. She's hunting a buck. Okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to build up as much food as we can before the winter. Thank you, Hectic. Thank you very much, Hectic. Damn. Did she cut down the wood but didn't bring it in? Of course. And I'm sorry, Jonah, to wake you up, but you've got to wake up and get that wood into the generator in order to keep the, get the freezer running. Did I pick this set of colonists from a given set, or did I randomize? It's all randomized. Yes, this is a very bad set of colonists. So, it's going to be challenging. The only thing that I did specify was to make sure that I randomized the third colonist to make sure that I, I at least have somebody who can do some construction. 
Because if we landed with nobody capable of any construction, we'd die very quickly. Why don't I use combat extended? I don't really care about that. Error, 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 Right, so Jonah's bringing in the generator. Sodium is hunting a buck. It isn't night time. No, it is night time. It's one in the morning. Just we have an eclipse, so we can't tell either way. Okay, Hawk is off to butcher a dead rabbit. No, where's she going? Oh, she's off to retrieve one of the alpaca that we killed. It must have died of blood loss. Okay. Right then. Jonah's off to bed. Yeah, yeah. Sodium's a shit shot. Come on. Hmm. Well, also bear in mind that last time I modded the RimWorld playthrough, uh, I lost two colonies through save file corruption, so, you know. Uh, I'd, I'd rather keep the colony long term than mod it to fucking break it. Stability is more important when it comes to a piece of software than adding features to the point that it becomes unstable. In fact, I lost Tundra Fort. So I lost uh, the Leafy Crevice colony after a save file corruption due to the psychology mod that wasn't easily fixed. And then I lost Tundra Fort due to something else I can't remember. I had to sit there and rebuild all of Tundra Fort. I went into the dev tools and activated the, the build tool to instantly build things. And spend a while just watching back the streams to paint back every single built tile on the map. Took a while. So, yeah. M mods, nah, not, not such a good idea for RimWorld. Not if they break your save file. Okay. Thank you, Will. Thank you very much, Will. Thank you kindly. Right, so what's going on now? So ha Nervous Hawk has brought back the... Good, has brought back the alpaca. So we're actually, yeah, we've got more food than I... Yeah, so I did institute rationing in, with the nutrient paste dispenser. But I think we've got enough food for now, at least to make some basic meals. So let's cook some simple meals. So let's do that. Okay. She's off to harvest a tree. No, no, work, work on the cooking. So priority one, work on the cooking. So it's still four in the morning, so people's sleep cycles are a bit off right now. Ah, the eclipse is ending. So the sun is rising. Right. Okay. We've got wood back in the generator. The freezer has gone back to minus four degrees. Hooray. So, food is frozen and will not spoil. Hawk is just preparing some... Yes, uh, preparing some simple meals using rice and meat. Could do with a bigger freezer. Could do with a bigger everything, really. Okay. How many limestone bricks do we have? Uh, got 200 sandstone. Thank you, JJ. Thank you very much, JJ. Thank you, sir. Okay, so I guess let's start deconstructing some of these internal wooden walls. To replace them with sandstone. Alright. Well, sodium's still asleep. They're going to be asleep for a while, I think. So yes, for those just joining the stream, welcome indeed. I hope you're okay. I hope you're having a, a lovely morning and a, and a smooth week. So work on the latest bullshittery continues. And uh, yeah, before then, I'm just going to chill out and play a bit of RimWorld. So we've got two major break risks with Jonah and Hawk. Due to a dull barracks, indeed. So we need to have separate bedrooms with our own beds. Shacking up together isn't great. Right. All right. Okay, so let's also put down what will be additional rooms over here. So I know it's wood for now. We can replace it later. Let's just get them built quickly. Okay, how should I do this? Do that for now. Okay. Right, so Coloma, the herbalist, is just playing horseshoes out in the courtyard. So they're just getting a recreation boost from that. 
we don't have much in, in the, well, in the form of entertainment. We should make a proper rec room so people can relax near the center of the colony. Yes, I imagine so, Blues. Right. Did I ever have to ba banish a colonist? Um, I don't think I played a patch that had banish available. Uh, I think this one does, doesn't it? My previous playthrough of Tundrafall wasn't on 1.0. I don't think you could banish people. Good morning, Duckslayer. Good morning, indeed. Will I play Kerbal Space Program in the future? Yeah, probably. Need to give that another go. Furthest I've got is Jewel, one of the gas giants. Okay, Coloma is just moving meals around. Good, good. Do the other one while you're there. Indeed, we do have a cotton field down here, Trip. It's growing steadily. So it's currently, well, the last day of summer. So the temperature's going to start falling. So we'll have to see how we handle that. Let's, yeah, we probably won't have enough time to sow fresh crops. Uh, Lulu's good, Messi. Thank you for asking. She's all good. Right. Let's also put down sandbags in the gaps here in what will be a bunker. Whoop. So Coloma is hiding in his room because of a poor mood. He's he's greedy for an impressive bedroom. Okay. So all he's got right now is a cramped little room with a research table. He's not happy. Thank you, The Buzz Gaming. Thank you very much, The Buzz. Thank you. Okay, where's Jonah? He's still sleeping. Sodium's off to eat. A mad rat. Oh no, a local rat has gone mad. Should be fairly easy to deal with. We've all got weapons, yes? And Coloma, even though he's on a mental break, has a knife. How long does the rain last? Eh, quite a while. Okay, here comes a mad rat. So Jonah's awake at long last. Ravenously hungry. Okay. Presumably he's off to bring meals to the prisoners. Oh, I think Sodium's going to get jumped by that rat. There it is. Okay. So Jonah is just taking a meal to the cannibal, Bill Ray, a 17-year-old girl that attacked us earlier. Oh, I need to make sure that Sodium is not set to run away. In the face of danger, she'll stand her ground. Okay, so Jonah, the evangelist, is now trying to preach to Bill Ray. Be nicer if he could have done that after she's eaten so she has the mood boost. Thank you, Revenant and Explosion. Thank you sincerely. <coughs> He's asking if she would like to join. Her mood is pretty crap. Okay, so, well, gradually she's coming round. Very gradually. Let's see if we can get her a small table. And a dining chair. Well, just a, a stool, really. Just move that stool. That will allow her to eat with a table. We still need wood. Yeah, we just need lots of raw resources, generally. Thank you, Forlorn. Thank you very much, Forlorn. Thank you kindly. So I'm noticing people aren't, you know, they're, they're slacking quite a bit. They're sleeping in too long. We need people to wake up and do things. So Jonah's cleaning. Okay. So let's have, yeah, so let's start getting some people queued up on their tasks. So please build a sandstone wall here. Sodium, go get some bricks. Hawk is cooking, carry on. Coloma's having a mental break and Jonah's off to clean the building rubble. Okay, haul in that dead rat in uh, rabbit instead. Okay. I see the other guy. Well, welcome the other guy. Major break for us, Jonah. Yeah, dull barracks. So yeah, we need to get additional bedrooms going. Okay. Thank you, Bookat, for the compliments and welcome, sir. Right. She's off to get more sandstone bricks. Is Doll hunting the psychotic rat? So our pet fox is hunting for that rat, so that problem's going to deal with itself. Ooh, some cargo pods have been detected coming through orbit. So from the cryo accident. Flake. Interesting. So it's a... I think it's supposed to be... 
Is it uh, crack? It's a, it's a type of drug that I think you smoke in a pipe. There we go. Dull hunting. Good, good. So we will grab that and bring it in. Because it could prove useful. Oh dear. A lynx. Dangerous. How close to the flake is it? Uh, where'd it go? Sorry. Was it over here? Am I going mad? Yeah, oh, it's right next to the lynx. Not good. Um, sodium's going to have to go with you, Jonah. Okay. We need steel. Uh, Jonah, go and do some more mining. No path? There we go. So, Jonah, uh, prioritize your mining rather than cleaning. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have to sort of cycle through tasks. Alright, well, so we'll send Sodium and someone else momentarily, just in case the Lynx gets gets arsy. Okay, Sodium just working on the, on the wall here. Well, it depends, Wilhelm. It depends on what their food opportunities look like. Okay, so Jonah's off. The evangelist uh, who grew up in a cave is also quite good at mining. So he's off to do that. The hawk is going to get disturbed. What with the building work going on there? Yeah, the little red Z there. Uh, no, the lynx shouldn't eat the flake. It, it eats meat. Okay. Jonah's off to talk to the prisoner again. It would be really nice if the cannibal would join us. She's 17, so she's young, she's fit, she's also tough, very tough. Excellent in a fight. Be good to have her on us on our side if we can. So uh, Jonah is just preaching to her. Talking to her about what? Telling an old story about rethinking her loyalties. Asked her, where is your honour? Asked her about her shooting skills. She has limited shooting skills. She's very good in a knife fight though. Okay. Is now telling a story about health. Okay, gradually. Resistance is gradually going down. So, yeah, we'll. we'll yeah, we, we, she might join us eventually, fingers crossed. As for this other guy, I don't know. Well, he's still wounded after his crash landing. I guess he's taking ages to recover because it's a sleeping spot instead of a bed. Why do we need sandstone? Well, we don't really need sandstone airstrike. It's more that we're just trying to make the best use of materials that we have available. We've got lots of rocks, random rocks around it. Some of, some of us is lime. Some of it is limestone. A lot of it is sandstone. Some of it is slate. So we're just kind of making do. Thank you, Pika. Thank you very much, Pika. Thank you. Thank you sincerely. Okay, sodium and Jonah, go together, if you please. Let's go retrieve some of that flake, hey? Eh? So hopefully the lynx has eaten. It's over there. So these drugs could be extremely useful in the event of a serious morale crisis. A stimulant could be just what the doctor ordered. As in, if people are dying, if people are sick, and, well, you know, the only thing that can keep you going is a, a hit of something to take your mind off of it, then, you know... In certain situations, uh, a recreational drug would be very, very useful. For the flake, will give you what exactly? Addicting this 20%, beauty minus 4. Recreation, 70% chemical consumption. So I think that's just your, your, your recreation level of your character goes to 70%, I think. Okay, so Jonah is the only one who can carry. So start hauling that flake, if you please. Can you carry? Can you carry all back in one journey? Yes, you can. Good, good. Let's go. So Jonah is just carrying it back. All what was, what was it like? Four, however many that was. There's there's 40 bags of it. We brought back. Yeah, thank God we got 38 bags back to the base. Now put these 32 in the storeroom. Hmm. 
cool, we're good. Right, so it's eight in the evening. Uh, it has been, how long? It has been 19 days since the crash landing. For those who are not familiar with RimWorld, some, well, the law isn't specifically explained. All we know is that this is a world on the galactic rim, which isn't uh, isn't colonized, although there's evidence of former attempts to colonize it. There are buildings and roads and derelict streetlights and stuff. And there's also a lot of ro roaming tribals, human tribals, descendants of perhaps some former colony effort or maybe crash landings from pirate ships or something. But whatever's happened, a lot of colonists in cryopods are raining down from orbit. And there's a, an exploded ship in orbit on the main menu for RimWorld. So perhaps a colony effort that's gone hideously wrong. And now three people, Jonah, Sodium and Hawk, joined later by Coloma from one of these nearby villages, have crash landed in this forest and they've got to make the best of their situation. So it's 21 degrees outside, the weather is horrible. And we're just trying to stay nice and dry and warm inside. Speaking of warm, we need to get some heating going when it gets really cold in the winter. Okay. Roaming tribals. One of the tribes had a minigun and two heavy SMGs while raiding you. Those were probably pirates, chicken. They're different. The tribals have bows and arrows and spears and very distinctive look to them. I just selected at random, Danny. So the colonies, the colony location is random, the colonists are random, Randy Random is on merciless difficulty, so this colony, they could all die by the end of this stream. Hmm. Oh yeah? Trip? Uh, was it TV signals from a derelict satellite? Okay, so perhaps there was a former attempt to colonize this world whatever it's called. Okay, Hawk hasn't gone to bed. She's gone back to the kitchen to keep working, making meals. Well done, her. Uh, let me just ask her to take those meals back into the freezer if she can. So currently they're just designed to drop on the floor. Take to best stockpile, which means she should just drop them back in the kitchen where they'll be frozen. Which is probably also why she's continually cooking because they're not in a storeroom, so they don't count. Uh, let's suspend the job then. Don't go through too much food. Okay, autumn has begun, folks. What's she doing? Oh, she's butchering that hair. Right. Just bought it this morning. Need a guide for starters because it's incredibly hard, but you get hooked quickly. Indeed. Um, Raiden, I would say, um, sorry, as, as tempting as it is to look up guides on how to do things, honestly, half the fun of RimWorld is, is figuring out what stuff does and how stuff works. Like, you, your first colony will be short-lived. Your next colony, you'll last a little bit longer. Your next one a little bit longer. Gradually, bit by bit, you'll go through the challenges of the game. Basically, I think guides kind of cheat you out of a lot of the gameplay, you know? Because if they just show you, oh yeah, start by building this room. Start by building this kitchen. Make fire breaks, you know. Uh, treat infections early. Then you're kind of, you've, you've leaped forward quite significantly in terms of playthrough progress. Whereas... If you get, if, well, you know, the, the, the interesting stories when it comes to, oh, I lost my colony from a huge fire. That sort of thing. Yeah, uh, l losing and learning and trying again is, is a big part of this game, I think. I mean, to each their own. You can play it how, the, how people want, but I'm just saying that the, the, the colony, for example, where I was stuck inside a mountainside, unable to get my crops because of a... Uh, a man-hunting pack of wild boar because I'd not yet learned to make a courtyard where you can grow crops in safety from animals. That was interesting. I had a colony that was starving to death, trapped inside by wild boar. And then a guy went berserk with a shotgun and murdered everybody. It was great. What about watching streamers? Is that cheating? I, I would say so. Yeah, as well, Super Moose. Um, I would strongly recommend just sort of just jump right in, really. Yeah, um, and not cheating, that's the wrong uh, wrong word, but you know what I mean, as in half the fun is figuring out how it all works. One of the bucks seems to have died of its gunshot and Hawk is out to go and retrieve it. Peace Talks, what's this? 
Z Zeif, Prime Counselor of the Egalitarian Kin League of Onomini, has sent us a message. He wants us to talk at a nearby location. It could be a great opportunity to improve relations with their faction and receive gifts, but beware, a poor negotiator can call more, cause more harm than good and may even anger them. The offer will expire in 18 days. So there are a nearby group of survivors, no, tribals. They were like peace talks with us. No. It's many kilometers away. We don't have the food reserves to make that journey safely, nor the combat abilities if something goes wrong. We're not interested. Okay, so it's two in the morning. Most of the colony is asleep, apart from Coloma, who's having a hissy fit in his room. And Hawk, who's off to retrieve one of the dead deer before it decomposes in the rain. Some muffalo are still here. Good, good. Yeah, we need to get as much food as we can. We don't know how plentiful the food is going to be come winter. Chicken says he once lost a colony because he tried to hunt a thrombo. He didn't appreciate it, left all of your colonists to bleed out. Indeed, similarly, I've had muffalo go mad and bash their way through every door in the base, killing all of the colonists. What's the current research project? Is I believe it's just basic smithing, or is it batteries? Although we don't have anybody assigned to the research because sodium needs to work on building for now. Is there anyone who can take that over? Um, I suppose... Eh, we don't have an effective builder. Jonah can, but Jonah's already busy doing other things. Thank you, number eight, Lem... Lemike. Thank you, number eight. Thank you, sir. Okay, for now, let's switch over to Hawk doing the building. She's crap, though. Hawk, you do the building. Never mind about the cooking. Suspend that. And sodium will take up the researching. Okay. Resting. Hawk is off to bed. Carry on. Good morning to you too, Fenrir. I also hope you're well. Okay, Hawk's gone to bed. Sodium should be waking up soon. Ah, damn. The uh, fox, we need to get it some kibble, don't we? Right. Good, we've got the flake at least. Let's disallow access. Bear in mind that even if you do that for a... Uh, well, certain colonists will have uh, proclivities when it comes to uh, <laughs> recreational substances. And um, they will ignore your directives... To not touch the drugs. They'd be like, ooh. It's a trait called chemical fascination. And it can be hilarious and frustrating. Okay. Right. What's that bubbling sound? So, oh, sodium's working on the research. Okay. Carry on. <clears throat> I'm good, Shadow Boy. I hope you're well. Okay, so Jonah is just sitting in the cotton field watching the clouds, just just relaxing for the morning. Sodium is off researching. Coloma's still sleeping. He's been awake all night. And uh, Nervous Hawk has gone to bed. So yeah, we don't really have... Well, yeah, we've got very few sort of go-getters when it comes to workers here. Oh, there goes the generator. You've got to refuel that, Jonah. Go stick some wood in there. Major break risk, yeah. Right, so it's 8 in the morning. How are the prisoners doing? Um, Hawk, so I do need you to go work on that table. We don't have enough wood. Yeah. Okay. Go work on cutting down some trees. Jonah's off to talk to the cannibal again. Hmm. This other prisoner, a pacifist, but good at art. Yeah, we'll see if we can talk to him. Maybe get him to join us. <clears throat> okay, so yes, the evangelist Jonah is just speaking to Bill Raid, the 17-year-old cannibal. Thank you, Husmaster. That's, that's very kind of you, Husmaster. Thank you for doing that. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And hi there, Alistair. Oh. 
Oh. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, we can put Coloma here and Sodium here. Yeah, yeah. Thank you again, Hustmaster. Thank you, sir. Only if you're sure, though. Don't break the bank for a cunt like me. But thank you. Hmm. Okay, Jonah's talking to the wounded prisoner, Gunner. See if he would like to join. What's he talking about? Uh, told a story about fat people. Okay. Uh, offered a chance for Gunner to talk about birthdays. Asked Gunner about his self-control. And also told a story about getting drunk to Gunner. Asked to join. Ah. His resistance is much lower than Bill Rabe's. He might join us sooner rather than later. Interesting. Oh yes, uh, T1. Yeah, that's happened quite a lot. <laughs> yep. Drug overdoses and passing out in the kitchen. Well, by all means, Alistair. Um, I'm sure people would like to watch your colony as well. Okay, so Hawk is just working on some electrical conduits. Ah, see, that wasn't hooked up, but now it is. That means we can also deconstruct these wooden torches, which means we won't be burning wood. So, yay! What's Jonah doing? He's off to mine some limestone for some reason? Don't know why I assigned that. Oh, I, I know why. Because I'm trying to deny cover to the enemy. Okay. Once you're done with that job, if you could come and mine some steel, that would be appreciated. So sodium's off researching. Hawk is off building. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, for those just joining the stream, the too long didn't read version insofar as YouTube is concerned is that it is day seven, question mark, on the latest bullshittery, which is anti uh, armor, sorry, random anti-stasi bullshittery part three. So it's the same armor game that we've been playing, uh, trying to play as the resistance. And um, yeah, uh, so for context, so it's day seven. It normally takes me about 20 to 25 work days to finish a full edit. So still quite some time to go. I'm, I'm sort of working on the text and the animations which requires sort of exporting the scenes in Adobe Premiere into Adobe After Effects and then sort of starting to do the keyframing for each individual one. Uh, it is a slow process. I put on some, you know, I get a drink, I put on some chill music and I just work as hard as, hard as I can. Yeah. It's not, it's not a very difficult process, it's just, it's just slow. You just gotta kind of do it, keyframe it, look at it, go, eh, maybe do it again. You know, go do a different scene, then come back and rewatch the first one, and you gotta, you gotta kind of mull it over a while. You, you gotta wait until it look. It, it's hard to describe until it sort of flows correctly and doesn't look weird, and isn't the text isn't spazzing out, or you're not getting sort of blasted by too many words on the screen at the same time. You know. What music do I listen to normally? Um, I'm a fan of carbon-based life forms. Quite a big fan. Uh, also, the Hoover Network. So, like, sort of non-lyric, relax, a ambient type music, where each individual track is like ten minutes long and it's got lots of whales or dolphins. Sorry. <laughs> okay, Jonah, the evangelist, is off mining. Sodium's researching. So the background soldier and later scientist is researching in a dark room. Need to get some lights. Hawk, the food taster, is off to retrieve some of the steel to make some of those lights. So well done. And Coloma, the herbalist, is off to grab some wood over here to stick into the passive coolers to keep the base cool. Which isn't such a huge priority now that it's autumn and things are a bit cooler. It's only about 28 degrees outside. <laughs> Hot Butter says, Sometimes I wonder why I even sub. Indeed, you're enabling this, Hot Butter. This is technically all your fault. Thank you, Tiny Dragons. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. And uh, Urelez. Thank you, Urelez. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, so colony defences are piss poor. If we get a real proper attack, we've only got two people with firearms and they're not very good with them. So... Yeah, not great at all. I wonder if we can perhaps look at the... Uh, what have we got? Sculptor's table, electric... Uh, hand tailor, sorry. Hand butcher. What am I looking for? 
smelter. I'm looking for a like a, a somewhere where I can make weapons. What's it called again? Do I not have it yet? Maybe. Oh, is it like gunsmithing, machining? Yeah. Yeah, we need to make proper weapons. Crafting spot for bows and clubs. We do have one of those, yes. Maybe we should make some of those, actually. Make some short bows. So at least we have some range weaponry, you know? Make a couple of short bows. Okay, Jonah has a major break risk, but he's off to go dig. Hopefully that'll make him chill, because he enjoys mining. Uh, sodium is off continuing the research. Uh, Nervous Hawk is going for a walk. Nope, is now going off to build the lamps. Hurrah. Uh, while you're there, can you just quickly deconstruct these torches? It won't take you long, and we'll save the materials. <clears throat> mm. Good, good. Work on that one there with the prisoner room. And also try and get another bed for Gunner. Okay, Joan is going for a walk to relax. So yeah. Also, yeah, we need to work on replacing these walls with proper sandstone or whatever. Get some walls that aren't flammable, if you please. Be careful of this place. Some strange, mysterious room that appears to have been here for a long time. We don't know what's in it. What could be in there? Something bad. So let's avoid the yeah, fucking avoid it right now. Hmm? Although one thing I liked, or I did it on a previous playthrough, and it actually worked. I, I thought it wasn't going to work very well, but it, it, worked, it did work in the end. I put like a small room near it, right? And I filled it full of wood, and I set that wood on fire, and then I opened the gap there to make a... No, did I build a vent? I can't remember what I did, but I I made it, I made it so that the heat, the superheated air, flooded inside the room, and it caused the survivors of the fight that started in there between, I think, some cryopod survivors and, um, and uh, insects? What was it? I can't recall what it was. But the heat, the, the superheated air caused some of them to pass out from heat stroke. Oh, El Doroto, buy me dinner first. He says he'll rim, he'll rim, or he or she will rim my world. Buy me dinner, an expensive dinner. I'm not, I'm not some KFC hussy. Okay, so Jonah, yeah, so what's the time? So it's 10 in the evening, so it's the first of autumn. So each season lasts about 15 days on this rim world. And, oh, yeah, Debrina, dessert, come on. Did you, Duck Slayer? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the colony's winding down and going to bed. Sodium is meditating just before bed. Ah, I'll have to get some food then. We don't have any night owls, so we don't have any colonists that like being awake at night. Although... Hawk does regenerate her energy from sleeping very quickly. So if we get her a really a really good bed with a high rest stat, she'll be up on her feet like very quickly. Okay. That basically says, oh like I wouldn't take whatever I can get at this point. Must admit it has been some time. Yes. Well aware of this, thank you, Messi. Okay, everyone's asleep. There we go. So it's midnight. So as you can see, Hawk's rest stat goes up really quickly. Jonah, who went to bed at a similar time, is way behind. So Hawk will be up on her feet in a minute. Oh, Coloma's up first. Of course, because he he's been sleeping most of the day. Thank you, Solid Buffalo. Thank you very much, Solid. Thank you. So Hawk is up. It's about two in the morning. Uh, Coloma's just dropping off some rocks. Um, yeah, let's have you focus on the crafting, if you please. 
So Coloma. Crafting, tailoring, smithing. Yeah, focus on all that is your priority one. Presumably he doesn't have enough wood to make the bows. Let's unsuspend the, the stone making job. Okay, Hawk is off to work on the power conduits. Very good. Yeah, insufficient wood. Can Coloma chop down plant cut? Guess so, you can cut plants. So, Coloma, if you could... Uh, oh, wait, it's... No, no, it should be before the rest of them. Do we just not have any trees allocated to cut down? I guess not. So, chop wood. Anything in the courtyard? Maybe a couple of trees. Yeah, we do need to try and keep the trees around the edge of the base cleared for the sake of kill zones. We don't want the enemy to have ample cover. Right. Okay. So, yeah, Coloma's heading outside the base in order to chop down some trees. Good, good. Needs warm clothes, that's true. So the outdoor temperature is going to reach minus 11 at least during the winter. People don't have adequate warm clothing. Is the gay prisoner from yesterday still alive? He is. His name is Gunner. He's uh, currently stressed out and lying on the floor inside the prisoner room. Cool. Get rid of that torch as well. So it's, uh, the temperature is falling. It's 12 degrees outside. Mm. Okay. Food is not too bad, frankly. Food is not too bad at all. Mostly meat. Do you think we'll have time to get the rice? Maybe. Don't know about the cotton, though. Yes, indeed. You can grow trees, Montrend. In fact, you can, you can just set huge sections of the map as... It's like a, just a tree growing area. Oh, looks like the generator's run out of fuel again. Coloma, can you go stick some more logs in there? What do I plan on doing this playthrough? I uh, don't know, really. We'll just, we'll just see what happens. Will I be ruthless or merciful with my allies? Will I harvest organs? I never really liked the harvest or harvesting organ thing. Just seems malevolent, which I suppose is the point. I don't know. Just play whatever, really. There we go. Coloma's refueled the Jenny. It's harvesting more trees. Jonah's getting some food for the prisoners. Ravenously hungry is our cannibal. Okay. I'm more. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm quite worried about our defence levels. Let's switch the bed. So this will be Sodium's bed instead of Coloma's. This one will be Coloma. So Sodium's off to continue her research. Build another stool there if we can. Hmm. Okay, so Jonah is talking to Gunner, the architect on the floor, the wounded bandit that attacked us earlier. Jonah expressed interest in Gunner's learning ability. Sorry, Jonah expressed interest. Uh, 8.3 has gone to 7 point something chance to join us, I think, for resistance to joining. So we're still talking to Bill Ray. Okay. I could do a uh, Neftus, but uh, the trouble is with individual Rimworld clips is that they... They require a, a bit more setup than self-contained smaller jokes that serve well in compilations. So I, I suppose you could always put the stuff on YouTube with appropriate narration, but uh, it would be, well, a bit of a departure from my usual content. And I suppose you could, but right now I've got lots of other things on the plate, you know. Uh, can we deconstruct that torch? Shame we don't have any artwork. Thank you, Russian. Thank you very much, Russian. Sorry, he just promised what? He promised intimacy. Oh no, just joking. 
Oh, don't know why we needed to refuel that, because we're going to deconstruct it, but okay. Mr. Mendes just started his first playthrough and found two of his survivors a husband and wife. His mother-in-law is a member of a hostile faction. <laughs> Sounds appropriate. Yeah. <sighs> What's that noise, honey? Oh, it's, it's, um, it's your mother again. She's leading a band of raiders to attack us. Yeah, she does that. And then they break through the walls. The, yeah, the, they, they smash through the base walls and your mother starts complaining about the floor. The, the choice of colour for the floor. And how the curtains look old and ratty. <clears throat> okay. Right, so Joan is off to dig at... Yeah, so that limestone there. Sodium is off eating before she gets on, presumably, with the research. Ah, Hawk and Coloma. Oh, oh no. They're just, they're just not happy with each other. So Coloma just compared Hawk to a crook. Yeah, these two don't like each other. Hmm. Thank you, Thuzzle. Thank you very much, Thuzzle. Thank you, sir. Let's get these away from the door as well. How was my day off the other day? Um, it was good. Yeah, boy. So, uh, last... What was it? Sorry. Uh, was it last Thursday? Um, I went... For those who are not familiar... I went fishing for the first time uh, since I was about 14. So I've, I've gradually been building up some fishing gear. It's just, it's just behind me in a pile. Uh, yeah, just sort of getting rods and reels and line and tackle and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, so I, I popped back to a, a fishing lake. It's like a stocked lake that's uh, in, in the Sussex area. I drove over there. First impressions were not great because it had just been raining. So the whole place was like a, a slurry of mud. It was really... I was like, oh dear. Like, I know it's a lake and everything, is it? But... It, it, they, they'd had some building work done. There were diggers going back and forth. So the whole site was just filthy. With like tarpaulins and bricks and stuff. And, oh dear. Um, but when I got to the lake it, itself. Where the diggers hadn't gone. It was fine. So um, yeah. I started fishing. I caught five common bream. Which is a type of uh, not very shy shoal fish. That lives in lakes. They were quite small though. They were quite small bream. But it was, it was quite nice. Um, and then last Tuesday... Um, so, yeah, a couple of days ago, I snuck off to go fishing again in the morning. So instead of streaming on Tuesday morning, I, like, super early, I worked, well, I got my stuff ready the night before. I got all my lunch and packed and everything. And then super early, I snuck off and, 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 and drove off to this lake. And the sun was not, well, the sun had risen, but, you know, it was still coming up. And I set up my fishing gear. And disappointingly, I didn't catch anything that day because I was using a type of tackle and hook and stuff that I'd never used before. It, it, it's a process called ledgering, I think, which is where you use a weight to sort of weigh the bait down, as opposed to a float, which is where the bait will sort of drift gently at the, you know, uh, well, drift through the current with the float. This time it was like a, you, the, the, the weight sinks into the bottom and uh, your, 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 your bait just sits there. Why are you a 70 year old? Uh, what, is it me going fishing, Novi? You know, it's relaxing. It's it's calming. It's um, it's just it's just tranquil, tranquil. You know, getting out of the city. Yes, I did take Lulu, uh, Blue Phoenix Zorro. Yes, she was very bored the whole time. But yeah, I didn't catch anything. I must have been doing something incorrect. I I, I tried different like lengths of uh, just different sort of configurations of the tackle, and I tried casting in different places. I tried switching up the bait, but nothing. I've got nothing. It's just a bit disappointing. Um, so I've, I've been thinking about it a lot, you know, over the last few days. I've been like, well, what did I do wrong? I'm, you know, a bit last night I was sitting there playing with the hooks, trying to tie them properly, and I can't work it out. I, I, did, I did something incorrectly, but I don't know what it was. Um, yeah, so I'd like to go back. I was thinking of going back this weekend. I'm obsessed, you know, it's kind of like a new hobby, like, yay! But um, I think the weather's going to be very hot on the weekend, isn't it? That might not be the best idea. Hang on. Let's have a look. BBC weather. Firstly, because obviously Lulu, poor old Lulu would be stuck at. Yeah, it's like 24, 25 degrees. Blazing sun. Although apparently, uh, uh, I don't know. We'll see. I'll think about it. And also the fish don't bite as much when it's really sunny. 
because, well, they don't... Well, firstly, it's because the something happens to the water's oxygenation levels, as in uh, they get lethargic, especially the big fish. Whereas when it rains, the water gets stirred up and it gets well oxygenated, and then they're all sort of, ooh, you know. And also they know that when it rains, small bugs and stuff get swept into the water, so suddenly all the fish are like, yes, go find food. Whereas when it's sunny... They just kind of stick in the reeds and don't feed because they don't want to get killed by predators and the oxygen's low. Thank you, Louis Cien. Thank you very much, Louis Cien. Oh, no, no, it's a catch and release. Catch and release. Ah, good. We finished researching the batteries. So, Sodi Peroxide over in the research room, or her bedroom, has finished researching. So, we can now build batteries. So, when the generator dies, it's not a case of instantly lose power. Good. Okay. Um... So solar panels would be useful, but we really do need to focus on getting turrets uh, over here. So we need to work down here then. Start with smithing. So we need to research smithing. But yeah, batteries is something. So let's get down a battery. Make sure it's indoors. Got one here. Okay, so uh, sodium is doing what? Off to get some wood to make a stool. Can you do the battery? No, you require steel. Jonah, let's um, once you've done that task, go and get more steel. Are there any species you can legally take home with you? Yes, indeed. In fact, uh, many fisheries offer trout fishing. Or you can just go to a river. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Right. Here we go. So this is a bad event. A distant chemical fire has released a plume of poison over this entire region. Any person or creature not under a roof will be slowly, slowly sickened by toxic dust settling out of the atmosphere. It will last anywhere between a few days to over a season. So this can be a very bad event. It can last a long time and it means that you can go outside in limited, you know, limited amounts. But if you stay outside, you'll start to get some pretty severe health effects. So... It also means that all of the animals are going to start either migrating or dying. So there will be an initial, I suppose, rush to grab the dead animals quickly before they spoil. But after that, we're going to be sealed in. So, uh-oh. So, yeah. Um, right. So let's... Just thinking about this. Let's do what we can to just build a roof area if we're able. Let's see if it lets me over this area just avoid the crops okay uh, so let's see where the uh, yeah effectively if we stay under a roof we're okay so long as the toxic fallout doesn't land on us so we'll be okay for the minute and obviously there will be an abundance of food as the animals around us start dying the animals that die are rotten so you can't eat them well that takes some time or unless they've changed something they spoil really they spoil instantly now is that true Thank you, Zrupa. Thank you very much, Zrupa. Thank you, sir. Okay, as you can see, the land is going green as the toxic starts falling. Uh, Jonah, yeah, get as much steel as you can. They spoil instantly. Okay, that has changed. My, my mistake, sorry. Uh, yep, wood as well will be crucial for the fuel generator. I mean, we can send people out in small amounts, obviously. Right, so, yeah, just eat a simple meal and get back inside. Uh, Coloma, before we go to bed, get as much wood as we can and bring it in. Okay. This here is not the priority anymore. If they have too much toxic buildup, they will instantly spoil. Ah, okay. Interesting. So, yeah, Jonah, just keep getting as much steel as we can. Uh, sodium, can you haul? No, you can't. Uh, good morning. Uh, ZF Yuki is in the chat, folks. Feel free to say hi. Okay, Clem is just getting that wood. Just grab as much as we can and get indoors. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Sealand. Thank you very much, sir. Much appreciated. Thank you. 
quickly. No, you just need to get as much as you can there. So the toxic buildup is initial right now. So a slight reduction to the consciousness level. It will start building up. When it gets particularly high, there's a chance of long-term cancers and other nasties. Uh, yes, we have chicken. We've had a main base with multiple smaller satellite bases for resources. Best time to fish is in the morning or afternoon, and also try using chartreuse colored bait and spinner bait. Cool. Well, thank you for the advice, Lemon. Uh, yes, so... Uh, it, 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 yeah, so mo mornings and, and afternoon. It, effectively, when the sun is not high in the sky, apparently, Lemon, and especially after it's been raining or during rain, for the fish have evolved to obviously be like, ooh, rain means an abundance of food getting swept into the water. Okay, Coloma's gone to bed rather than pick up the wood. Hmm. Okay, can't take that in, but you can cut that. So what's the time? So it's 11 in the evening. Uh, I think this lake does, Pender. Yes, I'm pretty sure there are eels in the water. Oh no! Not good. Jonah's having a tantrum. He's going to smash up random furniture, items, and structures. This happened because of his poor mood. Oh dear. So he's off to bash stuff. Hopefully that's a relatively short-lived one because he's got to get back indoors. Alright. Let's allocate an animal area for doll before she gets herself hurt so hang on uh, areas allowed area manage areas new area I don't know since I've done this hang on a minute animals manage areas area 2 Okay, so Doll, the fox, will be allowed to move here. Uh, keep her out of the kitchen. Uh, keep her out of the freezer for now. Okay, she's sleeping there. Assign her to this area. Sorry, Doll. Just having a tantrum, beating up a marble wall. Once he's out of his system, he'll, he'll feel better. Okay. And then... Let's have a look. So they're currently unrestricted. Home area or area one? We'll modify area one. Doll is fully healed. She had an injury. Uh, hang on. Area one. Indoors. Okay. So our colonists will be allowed to roam in this area. And then it would be, yeah, we need to try and get ourselves a... Uh, like a sort of walkway that we can, you know, an under, un, a beneath a roof area that they can sort of move around in but not leave. Okay, building roof. So here we go. So if I do this button here, where, where is it? How do I see it? Here it is, the roof. So this green area represents the corrugated metal roof. And we just need to get an, a safe area from the fallout. Thank you, Eagle Eye Swee. And NL Rowey. Thank you kindly. Thank you very much. Hmm. Hi there, Shikatu. Uh, I just randomized it, uh, Shikatu. It's a temperate forest to the middle of the map. Some cargo pods have been detected from the cryo ship. Kibble! Excellent. Bring that in for Doll. Excellent indeed. Put a stockpile of kibble in the kitchen. Right in front of the door, because why not? Clear all foods, raw food. Uh, kibble. And then take away kibble from that freezer. Yes. Randy took... Pi oh, extreme break risk. Jonna. Wait. Critically stressed. But he's got the catharsis boost. I see he's just tired. Yeah, go rest, Jonna. Right. Uh, Hawk can't haul. Only Coloma can bring that kibble in. 
Cool, there we go. So as you can see, a roof is being built that will at least provide a safe walkway for the colonists to move. So it's currently about 9 degrees outside, so the temperature temperature's falling. Our defences are still piss poor. Thank you, Xerx. Thank you very much, Xerx. Thank you. How are the prisoners doing? What with John's little outburst there? They're quite hungry, but they'll have to just be alright for the minute. Can I harvest the rice? Yes, we can, and we should. Uh, orders harvest. Don't need to specify this. I just want to see what's most of it's ripe. Or, you know, ready for harvest. Good, good. Well done, Hawk. Carry on. Won't the, gro the growing food be affected by the fallout? It shouldn't be. Should be okay. Okay, well done, Hawk. Um, can you finish the job? It's just it's important, Hawk. We need to we need to get that on. Yes, the fallout will only affect non-roofed areas. So, the rest of it will just gather on the roof to be washed off later by the rain. No harm done to us. It's not radioactive, it's just some poison. Okay. Uh, nope. Even if uh, the colonist is outside, but under a roof, they'll be absolutely fine. It's uh, if it settles on them. There we go. So this area is now within their allowed region. They can walk to the edge, but they can go no further. It's all under a roof. Thank you, uh, Megan. Thank you very much, Megan. Thank you for doing that. Okay. So let's now, well, probably give them one more day outside, then we'll have them. Don't go outside anymore. Okay. I uh, shouldn't be chicken unless something's changed. Right, so Hawk is just resting in the dining dining room, relaxing socially. Oh, hang on. Coloma's just woken up. Off to get a simple meal. Very good. Indeed, this is one of the fun events because it means you have to restrict yourself a bit and play play smart. So minor toxic buildup in the animals now. So, consciousness reduced by minus 10%. So, it's 27% toxic fallout. So, it's only after one day. Good. Coloma's off to get the rice. Okay, sodium's awake. Welcome. Off to get food. Indeed, the generator. We don't have refrigeration. We've got only a few people that can do hauling, you see. It's the trouble. Yes, uh, the fox needs to stay inside as well. She's been restricted to just the interior bit. We need to go get her some kibble. Probably quite hungry. So once Coloma's done that, go grab that kibble. And haul it inside for, for, for a doll. Cool. Generator refueled. Uh, we can work on that battery, and indeed we shall. Get that going. Cool, right outside the base as well. Huzzah. Right. Coloma. Oh, it looks like it's quite heavy. Quite a lot of it, that's good. It's going to be a few trips back and forth. Okay, two major breakfasts Jonah and Hawk. Not good. Uh, so a mental break could be a huge problem in a toxic fallout situation because obviously then go wandering in the fallout which is the problem ah Coloma and Sodium just had a pleasant chat what's Sodium doing? oh I'll have to get uh, machine components for the battery she's building carry on Okay, under the circumstances, considering how... Yeah, so Sodium and Hawk, I would like you two to just drink some of the Psychite tea. Because they're feeling very stressed out right now. 
Uh, she doesn't feel very well and she's got an awful barracks. Drink some of the Psychite tea to take the edge off of it. So this will improve their mood. There we go. Ah, full recreation. Lovely. Psychite tea. Drinking that tea made me feel great. I love having this energy. So it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's some warm uh, hot water with uh, a Psychite leaf sort of dipped in it, one would assume, to soak for a bit. Lovely. So hopefully their mood should improve and there's less chance that they'll they, yeah, that go berserk or whatever. So drugs can be helpful. They can they can pick up a colony that's suffering. But yes, it's not necessarily the toxic fallout that's the problem. It's it's the inability to go outside safely. Thank you, Zaya. Thank you very much, Zaya. And hi there, Zaya. Thank you. I hope you're well. Hope everything in your life is a okay. Okay, that's bad. Who's this? It seems that... Okay, that's really bad. This might be the end of the colony. We'll see. Oh dear, this is very, very bad, everybody. We seem to have... These aren't tribals. This is another rival group of colonists that have seen us. They're coming at us with shotguns, with pistols, with grenades, with a heavy submachine gun. This is bad indeed. Now, how... Are they coming from an awkward angle indeed? How do we sort this situation? I think... Right, so presumably they're going to come in on this angle. We have no bunker defence. How do we do this? We are going to... Leave this door open intentionally to goad them to coming to the courtyard. And then we're going to take up these sandbags here using what I hope will be a, a clear area of cover. We also, if we can, really need to get that spike trap finished. That's probably my best chance of survival. Do we have any firearms? Just the knives. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oops, sorry, bear with me. Just the doorbell. Sorry about that. Just had to uh, go to the door. It was a delivery person that wanted access to the uh, to the flat inner area for a different flat. Okay, so let's see how we do. So for those just joining the stream, this could be pretty bad. They won't be milling around long enough for the toxic fallout to have serious negative effects. Um, okay, so open the ancient danger. Oh yeah, that's not that's not using a, ba a bazooka <laughs> on a. <laughs> Yeah, that's not setting fire to, um... Yeah, setting fire to yourself in order to hurt them, is it? Thank you, Dr. No. Thank you very much, Dr. No. And Quintnos. Thank you very much, Quintnos. No, we can't open the ancient evil. It could it could destroy us. It could be... If it's a robot with a minigun, we're, we're dead. We're all dead. Okay. So, what we'll do instead is we're going to get sodium to finish eating. That's actually quite important, just to make sure the morale's high enough. Grab whatever steel we can quickly in order to make that trap. Hawk. What can you do? You've only got a pistol. God damn. Um. Yeah. It's going to be a problem. I need people to get... Uh, at least people are relatively okay in terms of mood. It could be much worse. Right. So sodium, go quickly grab that. Open that door. That'll be their way in. Uh, can we get a bit more cover? No, that requires steel. Um, do we have any wood? Mm, okay, we're just going to have to wing it. Oh, I'll tell you what we'll do. Uh, no, fuck it. Just, just leave it. Hawk, get into the main courtyard. Stay there. So you might be able to grab enough steel, will she? Well, yeah, but she won't be able to get enough. 
Oh no, it requires 35 apiece. We might be okay. Thank you, Super Pepper. Thank you very much, Super Pepper. In which case, go out and grab that other stuff quick. Right. Uh, not yet. They're, they're milling around for a bit. So they're getting... Well, they should be getting toxic fallout, but it will take some time. Okay. So grab that steel quickly and start working on that trap. Uh, damn, you need three more pieces. She's off to research. No, no, just quickly. So we've got a few seconds. Just hide and let them take things from the storerooms. They set fire to the base. That's the trouble. And then we'll lose it all. We'll have to see. Right. Tell you what, we do. We need to move these. They'll use those as cover. Um, quickly get those out of the way, Hawk. No, you can't haul. Jonah, you're awake. Quickly haul those sandstone chunks away. Sodium, Cloma, drop the steel. Sodium, quickly get that trap operational. Go, 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 go. Where are you going? No, 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 no. Okay, she's working on... She's using, using extra steel to make those sandbags. There we go. Okay, grab the other one quickly. Close up the main door. No, no, I want them to come through this area. Okay. They'll be coming in a few moments. We can all just chill for a bit. Hawk, don't go far. Yeah, go get some food as well. Don't go far. They've got shotguns, that's the difficulty. If I move you know, inside and try to fight inside, they'll, they'll defeat me. I'm also worried that they're going to use the grenades to go through the walls. I really hope that doesn't happen. So we're dealing with six of them. Okay. Yeah, this is very bad, folks. Okay. Here they go. They're beginning their assault. Take up your positions and good luck, everybody. Sodium, get your gun, go here. Joan, I'm sorry, there's no time. So, Coloma stand here. Sorry, no, wait. Sodium go here for the slightly longer range. Hawk stand here. Coloma and Jonah go either side. So they're still behind cover. So here come the bandits. They're charging us. They're getting an initial toxic buildup, but it won't be enough. So here we go. So I'm hoping that the clear field of fire... We just, we just need to get lucky with our shots. And also, don't be shy with our melee. We need to get right in there. So at least they're coming through the door that I want them to come through. That's something. So we probably need to take out about four of the six in order to get the remainder to flee. Here we go. So the guy with the shotgun. Damn, missed the trap. They're all going around the traps. Come on, shoot him. Quickly go. Go, go, go. Don't be shy. Do not be shy. Good, we got one. Okay, quickly bum rush that guy fast. He's trying to get an outflank on us. You'll be all right. Okay, Sodium taking a hit. Switch over to that guy. Quickly stab him down. Quickly do your best. Just do your best. Watch out for that nade. Pull out of there. Get out, get out, get out. Okay, good. We killed that other guy. So Sodium, switch over. Ignore that guy with the grenades. Go, with the guy in the, go for the guy in the open. So Hawk and Sodium spin their weapons to fire at Gecko coming in through here. Whereas Jonah and Coloma are chasing down O'Neill with a shotgun. Quickly. Don't let him fire that thing. Come on! Keep firing. Watch out for that nade. He's going to trap one. Go, go, go. Get out of there, Jonah. Jonah! No! Jonah has been downed. But at least they're fleeing. The attack is over. Okay. Don't get into melee with them. Don't push your luck. How how bad is this? Um, here, let, let him break that down. Um, so he's a brawl. Yeah, just try and shoot him if he can. But let's focus on the wounded. So uh, Jonah got caught in the grenade. It's very bad, folks. 
He's he's at least no permanent injuries, like lost limbs, but yeah, he's got very severe injuries all over. He'll die in about eight hours of blood loss. Very serious, deep wounds. Uh, the O'Neill, so the person, the other person, has got similar, if not worse. Okay. Well, we're not we're not really in a position to save everybody. Um, oh wow, it's quite similar to uh, to Jonah. Okay, so check. So, so sodium took a gunshot there in her leg. It's a deep wound, but it's not too bad. Right, so priorities. Coloma, I want you to pull the clothes off the wounded bandit there. Hawk, I want you to pull Jonah in. Rescue and bring him back to his bed as quick as you can. Sodium, can you shoot that guy in the back? If you can, the guy with the nades. What did you do? the hell was that? Weird. Okay, we're moving to save Jonah. Coloma needs to treat. Okay, don't go that way. Okay. Go and give us access to the decent meds, which are over here. Okay, prioritize tending. Oh, I see. Uh, uh, it, ah, cool. It's a, it's a smoke belt, is it? A, cool, a belt that gives you um, a smoke screen. Ah, how ah, cool. Okay, Sodium, uh, also get to your own bed because you are bleeding quite heavily there. So Coloma will treat you momentarily. Okay, we're alive. That was lucky. That was very lucky indeed. So as you can see, we made good use of the open... lack of Their lack of cover caused some problems. Good. We have a submachine gun as well and some clothing. Well done, people. Well done. Okay. The seat of Jonah's injuries. As for that bandit, fuck him, frankly. Okay. Now we need to not ignore the toxic fallout here. In fact, Hawk, can you, um, do we have the ability to uh, execute or is that with, only with a prisoner? Just put him out of the fucking misery. So Nervous Hawk with a pistol walks up to the wounded O'Neill, a 51-year-old former machine collector. A very neurotic but intellectual person who didn't want to be in this situation, didn't want to be here and was hoping for a new life in this colony. But when things got to shit, she had to do tough things and make harsh decisions in order to survive. The last thing she says is, wait, before Hawk takes a pistol and... Just, come on, just put her out, puts her out of her misery. And that was the story of O'Neill. Yeah, she's already stripped. Okay, so Jonah's, Jonah's injuries have been treated by Coloma. Very good. So Coloma, the herbalist, can you take care of Sodium? She's also got a serious injury in her leg. Yes, she says, wait, <laughs> wait, wait, <laughs> multiple times and she's getting shot. Well done. Okay, so there's still a chance of infection. So can you make sure you clean that blood, Coloma? Try and get the room as clean as we can. It's not ideal. It's not exactly a sterile med room. Also, considering Jonah handles the prisoners, yeah, Bill Rabe needs food. Who else can handle wardening? Hawk is not very good at it, but all the same. Can you deliver food to Bill Ray? Thank you, Armoured. Yes, we're okay. We are good indeed. Uh, that is, however, it. I'm restricting everybody to the inside areas. No more wandering outside. Stay safe from the fallout. Although, that being said, I probably will order just the grabbing of their weapons and equipment. Okay. So she's delivered some food. What about the other guy? Is, is he... Is there a problem? He hasn't stood up yet. He should have... Okay. There's blight on the remaining crops. Randy's warming up, it seems. We should be okay. We've got quite a bit of meat. I'm institutioning... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm putting in full rationing now. So we're just using n nutrient paste. So for those not familiar, this machine... So it will render, render the food down into its... Well just do it in, in, into a slurry effectively then cook the shit out of it tastes revolting but at least we'll make every single calorie matter you know thank you gentex and wolf thank you sincerely thank you 
Right, so Jonah, you just rest, sir. Rest and stay warm. Same with you, Sodium. Well done. Good fighting, both of you. Hawk has gone to bed. Coloma has gone to bed. Everyone's gone to bed. Okay, apart from the cannibal who's patrolling. Well, wandering around bored. My rice is infected. Indeed. Okay, we're just going to have to harvest as much as we can. Oh. So for those just joining the stream, we just experienced... So our, our new colony just experienced an attack. Some bandits hit us, about six of them. We killed, what was it, three of them? Yeah, the rest got away. The next one's going to be worse, obviously, which is why we need to get... Uh, we need to get weapons, uh, gun turrets operational as soon as possible. Thank you, Chris, for the compliments, and welcome indeed, sir. Sorry, can I just uh, pour myself a quick drink? Bear with me just one moment, if you please. That is a three-year-old French bulldog called Lulu. She is extremely pampered. Very spoilt. Given lots of treats. This morning she saw my mum. She's very fond of my mum. She sits there on the sofa looking out the window for my mum's car. Because she's re she recognises the car. And any car that looks even vaguely similar to my mum's, she'll start be like, oh, you know, getting excited, jumping up and down. I'm like, no, it's not my mum. But yeah, she's okay. She's got a belly full of biscuits. And she's had lots of head scratches this morning. She's a-okay. Thank you, Peach. Thank you very much, Peach. That's very kind. Thank you, sir. Hmm. Right. A chunk of spacecraft has impacted nearby. You can deconstruct it to yield resources. So some steel and a ship chunk quite far away, though. That'll probably be, be something we retrieve a long, you know, some time from now when we're desperate for for components. Since we don't have the ability to cremate the dead, we'll also have to dig a few graves. Yeah, we need to bury the three people that were shot. So the bandits... So other colonists, presumably part of this colonization effort, were O'Neill, or at least the ones we know about. So a 51-year-old uh, machine collector lady who was very neurotic and quite intellectual who loved mining. The gentleman who ran through with a shotgun before he was stabbed in the back and killed was a nimble but nervous criminal surgeon. So being near many injured fellow criminals, Tony took it upon himself to work on them. So, uh, yeah, not very skilled all the same, but yeah, D decent. so a criminal effectively, a pickpocket in his youth and then a gang medic, I suppose, later, wherever he came from. And the last guy we killed was a 22 year old veg uh, veterina vet uh, veterinarian, sorry, veterinarian, veterinarian. What's wrong with that? Veterinarian. And he was also a misogynist, but beautiful with a great memory. Not anymore. Okay. Veterinarian. That sounds weird. Hmm. Uh, not yet, Sora. Sorundi. We need to make one, though. Hmm. Okay, so it's three in the morning. Hawk should be waking up momentarily. She's upset that she had to observe the corpses lying around her. Some particular colonists get certain bonuses. For example, there's one of them has bloodlust, which is where they're effectively aroused by the violence. And so they, they can feel great after a good fight. They can feel really great. And they're like, oh, I killed somebody. Like, what a rush. Some people aren't just wired that way. Some people are just not like everyone else. Okay, so Jonah's injuries. So he hasn't gotten any infections, which is pretty good. Yeah. How's sodium? Good. Her injury's healing. So she took a... a so it's a low-caliber submachine gun bullet into her right leg. Nothing permanent. We're good. Well done. Well done, everyone. So Hawk is just... This is so nervous Hawk, the food taster, is just disassembling a wooden wall to replace it with bricks. She's not our typical builder. Sodium does that, but since we need sodium at the research table, 
to use her military scientist skills. We need a replacement for the builder. Thank you, Frosty. Thank you very much, Frosty. Thank you. So she's off to get the sandstone from the storerooms. Let's just stick down those graves. We'll have to dig them up later in order to burn the bodies. Did I allocate that? Is that under a roof? It is, but this bit isn't, so they can't get there. Uh, let's... Hang on. Build a roof in this area. Oh no. Hawk is having a tantrum. <laughs> Pardon me. Assign that to the indoors so my guys build there. Okay, whoopsie. Wait, what did I do? Sorry, what did I do? Don't do that. Um, ooh, all that. There we go. Uh, what's that? So Hawk is having a tantrum. She's going to destroy... No! Not the submachine gun. She's off to destroy that heavy machine gun. A normal heavy machine gun. Um, that we're, nobody's in any position to stop her unless we can grab it. Can you grab it? No, she's going to break it. No, don't break that. Hawk! Stupid fucking food taster. Grab it. Fuck's sake. Oh, no! No, don't do that! She's gone to redirect her anger against that huge stack of components. 28 components. Oh, you stupid... Oh, my God. Can we not do something? How do we stop her? I guess we can't. There's nothing we can do. Oh, fuck you, Hawk. Unless we fucking... Hang on. No, there is something we can do. We can just move it, can't we? Manufactured. She better not break all of those. Just shoot her. Just arrest her. Uh, no. She might start a fight. Fuck. We'll get more components. God damn. So I had a choice there. I could have tried to arrest her and if she resisted, it w they would have started a fight and it could, have get her, it could get her killed. God damn you. <clears throat> right. Okay. So, Coloma is off to make the short bows with the wood that we've just got from that that wall. I'm not so sure that's even necessary anymore. I mean, we've got submachine guns and shotguns. Nah, stuff it. Cancel the short bow. Keep those. Keep that wood there. Hawk, I need you to come and work on the sandstone wall here. Got loads of sandstone. Need material sandstone blocks. We've got loads of those. It's here, see? What's she doing? Oh, of course, I see. I, I restricted her. Come over here. Right. Oh, careful. Coloma just got a tick of the toxic fallout build up there. Must, must be careful. Okay, he's off to work on the brick stuff. He's upset by the sight of the dead bodies. Uh, strip that one. And that one. And we need someone to go work on the graves. Sodium just woke up. Oh no, he's off. Yeah, they're injured. Oh, holy shit. So Jonah can now walk again. Good, good. Um, sodium, can you go... Oh, I see. I'm just going to unrestrict you. Yeah, can we go get these graves dug? So otherwise people are going to start rotting. And also, the, just the sight of the dead bodies is unsettling. Uh, no, um, I couldn't. N3... Uh, sorry, uh, N Nather Wings. Colonists who, have, who are having mental breakdowns will just ignore your orders. They'll just walk through locked doors. <clears throat> oh, pardon me. Okay. Uh, yeah, just keep digging their sodium. Why not place grades outside the base to save space? We will. Doesn't really matter at this point. It's all good. I can just move them when I need to. Why am I taking their clothes off? They may be tainted, so nobody will want to wear them. That's true, but needs must. If we have no other alternatives, no other body armor, 
then they're just going to have to wear them. They're just going to have to bite the bullet and bear it. One should not aim for perfection when playing RimWorld. Survival comes first. Yes, it'd be nice to make our own decent, fresh, non-blood-soaked clothes, but it's either that or you go naked in a fight. There we go. So, sodium, could you get them? Don't eat her. We need someone who can haul. Coloma's just cheering up Jonah. He's awake and probably not having a good, yeah, not having a good time. Okay, go haul their bodies away. Huh? Oh, I see. He's been taken to a stockpile. Right. Why don't I feed bodies to the girl? Well, if we attempted to butcher a human being, we'd get like a big mood debuff. She is hungry. Get them all buried. So Jonah is still recovering from his injuries. Nervous Hawk is just working on the wall there. Coloma's getting two of three bodies buried. Yep, doomed. We'll move the guns inside, dude. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. We've only got one hauler. Well, sodium's awake. Uh, sorry, John is awake, but he's injured. Okay. My phone is doing wibbly wobbly things. My phone is telling me that. Oh. Oh, good. A parcel that it's something I've ordered it has just been dispatched. Okay, can we get this rice? Right click consume. You don't butcher the body and she can eat. Um, well, yeah, but she's. I can't do that chicken because she's not a colonist I can order. And also, eating raw flesh gives them a debuff as well. Damn, are we getting any rice out of the blighted ones? No, I don't think we are, are we? Is that what it does now? The blight? Hmm. Oh well. Yeah, the, we couldn't grow the cotton this season. We must have planted it too late. Alright, cancel the sowing. Never mind. Um, right, so yeah, now you can haul the clothes and shit over here. Just get them in the storerooms. Better than nothing. Good. Good to hear it, pig dog. Yeah, they're good, aren't they? I like them. Okay, how are the prisoners doing? Uh, they are starving. They require food and it's not being delivered to them. So, Hawk, can you focus on that, please? Nervous Hawk, just get some pace from the kitchen. Hmm. Uh, thank you, Nari. Trouble is, again, it's not, it's not that I, I don't necessarily like mods. It's just that they've had a, a history. I've lost two RimWorld colonists, uh, colonies. So, you know, let's not lose the third one, eh? Right. Cool. So we're okay. We need to get the doors fixed as well. For the courtyard is wide open. Oh, no, wait, just the doors open. That's it. But that one's broken. Major break for us, Coloma. Yeah, observed corpse. He's in darkness, an ugly environment, that sort of thing. Hi there, Mike. Welcome indeed, sir. Okay. Hawk is just feeding the two prisoners. Good. They're okay. Right. So Jonah's gradually getting better. Sodium's gotten over her gunshot. Right, cool. So how's, I guess the animal population is dying off. The, the, so this alpaca, extreme toxic buildup. So 81% toxic buildup. 
they're starting to succumb. That squirrel died. This rhino, poor thing, suffering. Thank you, One Eye Whiskey. Thank you very much, One Eye. Yeah, it's not looking good. Muffalo just passed out. Ooh. Yeah. Sucks indeed. Poor things. Oh, look at him, Jesus. All these alpaca and deer just passing out. Okay, so Jonah is on his feet again, which is good. Sodium's just having something to eat before going back to researching. Hawk has found some clothes. She's just putting them on. Okay. What the hell is that? Animals, pu a tortoise is puking its guts out. Yeah. Okay. Make sure everyone's appropriately restricted indoors so nobody wanders out and gets their own tick of toxic fallout. Uh, cool. And we can expand the indoor area. Basically anywhere where there's a roof, they can they can go safely. So they can even go into the defensive bunker if needs be. And over here. Cool. So, yep, my colonists can now move safely about so long as they stay under the roof. Well done. The door should close automatically now. There we go. Nice. The courtyard has been sealed again. Right. So, what's the priority now? Well, defense. So, for that reason, Sodium should just stay researching for as long as she can. We need to research gun turrets. Thank you, Mac. Thank you very much, Mac. Thank you, sir. We also have quite a few sandstone blocks now, so let's keep working on replacing the internal elements of the base uh, with proper decent floor. So we'll go with conk. Well, we don't have enough steel, presumably, stockpiled, but we can't get to it easily. But Keloma is working on some, well, an, an alternative. Maybe granite or something. What's he got? Sandstone. Yeah, we'll work it out. Right. Thank you, Slimy, and what a duck. Thank you, both of you. Thank you. So, uh, I'll probably give it another 15 minutes tops, really. 15 to 20 minutes before I need to go and get on with work today. Hmm. Well, I've only really got one researcher, Serdix. So only one person capable of, of, capable of it. Or at least to any, any effective degree. Okay. Alright. Oh, really? Was that the same faction that this guy belongs to? It was, wasn't it? The guys that attacked us. And his friend was a part of that raid. Takey. Takey? Which one was Takey? O'Neill. Takey. The, uh, yeah, so the vet. So the guy up here. The beautiful guy. So Gunner was his friend. The two of them were friends. Oh, dear. And now the prisoner is sad on, on being told by, well, uh, presumably Hawk. That in the attack, his friend was killed. So it was a rescue attempt, really. Yeah, they tried to get Gunner. Indeed, Jonner is recovering from his injuries in his bed. And Hawk is off to bed. Coloma is also off to bed. Right. There we go. So, it's 11 in the evening. It's currently the 5th of autumn, so each season lasts 15 days. So, winter is coming. Temperatures will start falling. Food is okay, actually. The big problem is defense. We do not have a base that is capable of resisting any serious attack. For example, the next attack, if it's got 10 guys, we're, we are stuffed. We do have some weapons, though. Nice. Yeah, we've got like a, some, some shotguns and submachine guns. But the problem is more we have the people who don't know how to use them effectively. We don't have capable fighters, which is why it would be nice to get Bill Rave aboard. If she can join us, then it would be most helpful. We need people who can fight. In addition, gun turrets would be very useful. So we just need to get down this research tree as best we can to get to gun turrets. Maybe take a quick short stop here to get blades or something. Get some decent swords for our um, melee people. Need a cooler for my food? Indeed, we have one right here. Okay. 
Okay, sodium's already awake at six in the morning. She's off to begin the research immediately. Cleaning the cell, indeed. Uh, so Jono is the cleaner over here. He's currently injured. Okay, Coloma starts the day with a delicious and nutritious bowl of potato slop. Yeah, well, I don't think anybody's the good guy on the rim world, fart going. Everyone's just trying to survive. Coloma's off to tend to Nervous Hawk's um, asthma. Okay. Trouble is, it's a it's a a permanent medical condition she's got. It's going to keep burning through our meds. We've only got 12 left. Um, escalator, it depends on the AI director you've selected. In this case, yes, it's random. Hawk leaves the room and Jonah says, I love to watch you leave. And Hawk is like, ugh. Hang on. So Jonah charmed Hawk by cheerfully making fun of her construction skills. Okay. Hawk gave a minimal response. Okay. So he's mocking her sandstone walls that she's made. Playfully mocking. Come on, the two of you get together. An, evangel an evangelist preacher and a food taster. We could do a food reviewing channel. Right. Okay, so Coloma, the herbalist, the villager, is off to keep making bricks out. Well, yeah, just to make stacks of bricks using the rocks that we have available. Hawk, who is temporarily assigned to the building while Sodium is busy researching, is off making the walls. Hawk, you may need to deliver food manually. Yeah, here's the trouble, because Joan is out of action. No one's taking food regularly to the prisoners, which is going to make them upset. How long until Jonah recovers? He's in severe pain. His injuries are steadily getting better. Okay. Looks like the toxic fallout is causing... Yeah all of the animals to die now. I wonder if the rhino drops ivory. Well, it's wounded, so we don't know. Yeah, all the deer are going. Okay. Just giving some nutrient gruel to the prisoners. I know it's disgusting, but it's not as if we're rolling in food either. Major breaker is Coloma. What's up? Darkness, greedy for an impressive bedroom. Drink some psychite tea just to make your day easier. Okay. Well, not really. We, we got quite a bit of food uh, next, so it's just that I'm worried that winter is coming and our food sources, what, what with the toxic fallout and the fact that it's winter, we're going to have very limited food. As in, pretty much no sources of food. For animals won't be about during the winter, and the toxic fallout will kill everything now, so this is it probably until next spring, so, you know, we better make this last. I know it looks like a bounty now, but a few months from now, we don't want to start looking at each other with hungry eyes, eh? Thank you, Lumpy. Thank you very much, Lumpy. Thank you. Okay. Did we get that kibble? Not all of it. We should go get... Get that before it degrades. Coloma, can you pull that in? Set yourself as unrestricted and go get the remaining kibble. Be ashamed to let that go to waste. Am I going to build a maze where I kill all the raiders? So a, uh, what, what is it? Like a, 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 yeah, I know what you mean. A killing tunnel, or like a, a tunnel where you set fire to it. Uh, no, I'd rather not. I find there's a bit, pfft, takes all the tension out of the game if you just, you know. Put like a long tunnel, fill it full of traps and set it on fire when the raiders attack. Even if sometimes those raiders go around it. Well, no, uh, yeah, kill box, yes, but I think he's referring to the specific mazes that you set on fire. No? It's like a, it's like a maze that you, you put superheated air through it. As opposed to like a 
kill a box at the end and you just feed everyone through and shoot them. I don't I guess it's a kill box. Yeah, you know what I mean. Or I know what he means. Nah. Okay. So Hawk is pretty crap at trying to negotiate, so there's no way that any of them will join us with Hawk talking to them. She's describing harmony to Gunner and talking about his emotional stability. And then Hawk told Gunner about lavish meals that we don't have. Uh, it's gradually working down. Oh, wait. Coloma's outside because I took off his restricted status. Okay. While you're out there, haul this in. Did you get all of the kibble? Yeah. Uh, yes, I have had a thrombo self-tame. Your name. That was weird. Right. So neither of the prisoners have joined us yet. I really would like them to do that because... Well, one's a pacifist, but he's pretty good at art. And the other one is, uh, well, a, a decent fighter, which we really need. Is the toxic fallout permanent? No, but it will last, it can last quite a long time. Upwards to, you know, sometimes longer than a season. So long as we're careful and we let the toxic build up tick off, then we'll be all right. But even having low level toxic fallout for a long time can significantly raise the, raise the chances of getting serious cancers and stuff. Right. Okay. Haul in the rice. Yeah, we should do that as well. So that one more thing we need to do. But it's a melee fighter. Don't you need good shooters? At the minute, I need whatever... I'll take whatever I can get. If she were a good shooter, then great. But she's not. But she's a good melee fighter. <sighs> What's the expression? A mountain does not become a mountain by rejecting every stone put on it. Okay, so Coloma's off to get more wood. Yeah, that'd be good. Just stockpile it as best we can. Ugh. That's not how mountains are made. Well, I think I got that from the original Shogun. And considering Shogun, or uh, rather Samurai philosophy, was all about how... A sword was dipped into the ocean and the droplets that came off it formed the islands of Japan. I doubt they knew much about geography. Or how volcanic archipelagos form. Well, not, not necessarily an archipelago, but you know what I mean. Islands along a fault line. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Right, so uh, how's Jonah doing? Yep, gradually recovering. Sodium is still researching. Carry on. Vacron soldier and mathematician that she is. Nervous Hawk is just feeding Jonah some uh, nutrient paste while he's sleeping. Ugh. Okay, Coloma is still making some bricks. Good, good. We've got quite a lot of stone. Yeah, so quite a lot of sandstone bricks. We, we really should get replacing... Yeah, we, we need to replace this stuff. So we'll do it... I mean, it's about to be 10 in the evening. We'll, we'll do it next morning. We just need to start... Getting, getting rid of all of the flammable materials inside the base, eh? Okay, there we go. Ah, right. Um, a few more minutes uh, next delicious because I've got to go get on with editing today. So for those who are not familiar, I spend most of the day just editing videos that eventually end up on YouTube. Oh bugger, the generator is out of power. But uh, it's a slow process and it's not very interesting. And um, 
just so I don't go insane, I spend just the morning and the evening just playing some games. Which, I might as well stream, because why the fuck not? Hmm. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, Hawk is trying to cheer up Jonah. Hmm. Well done. Okay. Hawk is off to feed Muffalo meat. Uh, of course, because the generator is out, so we can't run the... Oh, fuck. Okay, Coloma. I'm sorry, you need to wake up to refuel the generator. Hawk, in the mean, yeah, in the meantime, can you do something else? Can you, uh, crap. Let's start breaking down some of these walls in order to make sandstone. You can do that. Yeah, I don't want, I don't want my people fed raw food. That's going to lead to some bad, of some very low morale. Right, so he's off to go and get some, uh... oh no, muffalo meat is rotted away. Indeed it has. Oh, crap. Is that huge stacks of 75 muffalo meat? It is. Not good at all. No, no, no. Don't do not do that. That's what happens when we lose refrigeration. Also be good if we can get it cooked into meals. They'll last longer. But obviously I want to use the nutrient paste dispenser. Okay. Quickly get that fueled up. Where's she going? Oh, she's off to get... Yeah, sand, sandstone. Carry on. Cool. Generator up. Battery's getting charged. Power restored. Uh, yes, but not for some time, Lex. I've been doing other projects. Right, um, so truth be told, folks, it's probably... Oh, no! No, no, no! Okay, a different group. A hostile group of tribes, people. Are these the cannibals? Yeah, ooh, dearie me. Okay, so is this the, same? the Orange Cliff Treaty? 58. Who are you with, Bill Rave? Yeah, this is her tribe. Her tribe have, have launched an attack to presumably try and rescue Bill Rave. They'll prepare for a while and then attack. This should be easier to resist than the others, but all the same, fuck. Okay. Thank you, mister. Thank you very much, mister. So there's four of them. So, Trogo the Shaman. Uh, Muffalo Shaman. Okay. Uh, what is this? Uh, a 16-year-old vengeful child. A 58-year-old healer. And a 32-year-old weaver. So all tribal people. Just four. We should be okay. Yeah, we should be alright. Do any of them know Bill Rabe? No, they're just associates, acquaintance. Right. We should be alright. Just make sure that everyone's got a... Uh... Yeah, so Coloma. Can you just go and drink some Psychite tea? And also go and get some food before the battle? You too, Hawk. Go get food. What are you doing? Uh, can I, I can't force her to get nutrient paste. That's the trouble. But it's disgusting. Sodium. I need you to wake up. Wake up and get paste. Jonah, you're too badly injured. You stay out of this. And quickly open this door, somebody. Hawk, go open that door. Get your food. Prepare for battle. I should really move the trap. I don't think I can. Oh, no, I can move them. Holy shit, you're right. Uh, yeah. Let's put it here. Right. Hang on. Hawk, can you move that trap? Outside the allowed area. Hang on. Do that quickly. Thank you, uh... Yeah, Giu Daisy. Thank you very much, Giu. Thank you kindly. Okay, do that quickly. Put down a. Uh, that's the wrong thing. Dumping stockpile. Critical priority, and then put a chunk. Clear all chunk. 
Okay, and then have Coloma, who is just about to... Yeah, hang on. I want you to haul this piece of limestone over there. Quickly. Right, so what we're doing, we're setting up an intentional trap. An obvious piece of cover that the enemy will run to and be like, Aha! And then fall straight into a trap and it'll hopefully snap one of their legs or at least break their ankle or something. Okay, uh, so sodium, you've eaten, good. Hawk, you haven't eaten. Could you please... Damn, I can't force her to eat the nutrient paste. Okay, just check the weapon systems. Shooting skill is rubbish, but it's better than your melee, actually. Okay. Uh, what about Hawk? What have you got? Hawk, go get one of the shotguns. Let's get some ranged weapons. Well, I could put it in the doorway, but then one of my own people could trip on it. Okay. So, what's your range on that? It's limited. You stand there, Hawk. Your range is pretty good, Coloma. You're going to go with her. And Sodium's going to stand at the back as before. So the attack hasn't begun yet, but it will shortly. Major break risk, Jonna. Uh, you're actually not too bad. You're feeling better, aren't you? But all the same, just stay in bed, stay sleeping. Uh, it's getting quite cold now. Uh, yeah, go get some nutrient paste quickly, Hawk. Right, so this will be the last attack, and then I'm going to bugger off and get on with work today. Sodium is restricted indoors. Yeah, it's all good. I'll unrestrict them in a minute. I'll just do it now. Here they go. So, Sodium, get to your position. Coloma, you too. Hawk, you too. And good luck, everybody. Right. Uh, which way would be best? That's all good. Right, so the attack is about to begin. The tribals are on their way. Screaming and whooping. They're attacking to try and save their compatriot, Bill Rabe. Hmm. Right. So, first through the door comes the vengeful 16-year-old. Angry. And, uh, well, full of bloodlust. Reasonable fighter, actually. Here we go. Good luck, everyone. So they charge through. Oh, they, they got shot in the head immediately. Fuck. Dies in 10 hours. Uh, that, 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 that's a kill shot right there. They're, they're fucking screwed. Two shots. Okay, the other one's coming. Hawk and Coloma fire at uh, the 58-year-old healer who's running forward with a spear. She's taking fairly accurate fire there. Okay, no, she's down. The healer's been killed. Bracketed by a shotgun blast fired by Hawk there. So uh, the wounded kid is at the back bleeding out from his, well, Jesus, a, a neck shot as well. Yeah, he's fucked. Okay, this next guy runs forward, a weaver for the tribe, 32 years old for the club. He's running forward, a headshot there, bracketed by a shotgun blast. Another shotgun blast. Oh, holy shit, you machine. It's over, they're fleeing. The kid died, the weaver died, the last guy's running. The 31-year-old shaman, presumably the leader of the group. What's that? I hear a fire. Ah, this wall. Don't know how we did that. Coloma, go put that fire out. Sodium, can you run forward and try and shoot the fucker? It's over. No prisoners. Okay. Well done. He's gone. He's fucking gone. Very good. Very good indeed. Yeah, no one... They, they didn't even get close to the trap. Oh, I, I didn't move the cover. Okay, that was my bad there. I forgot to do that. I should have moved a piece of cover there so that it moved, that it'd stand behind it. Right, so thank you for watching, folks. So the colony stands for now, but its security is still very slapdash. We're going to need to... Uh... Oh, Weaver had a prosthetic. Ah, like a, like a wooden leg or something. The Weaver. Um, yeah, peg leg, yeah. Well, they got gunned down by shotgun blast, so... Good lord.
His liver. So the, this 16 year old had their liver destroyed. Shot in the neck, in the head. Bolt action. Jeez, yeah, he's gone. Okay. So thank you for watching. So have a lovely afternoon, all of you. So um, yes, to uh, to bring you up to speed, I'm uh, working on the latest bullshittery. It's Anti Stasi Part Three. It's only on roughly day seven out of usually 20 to 25 work days to finish a 10 minute project. So I'm going to I'm just going to need more time, I'm afraid. So um, yeah, I'm just going to crack on. So uh, I, I've, I've pretty much done the cutting. The cutting phase for the project is finished. So it's just the text and the animations now. So I'm just going through and moving moving scene after scene into Adobe After Effects and keyframing it. It's all very tedious. It's all very it's it's just not it's not very interesting to watch. So I'm just going to go away, get some coffee on, put on some chill music and just start keyframing uh, to the best of my abilities. So thank you everyone. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subbing. Thank you to Hertzilla and Astral and J Plays and Zerta. Thank you all of you for your kindness. And um yeah, hope to see you again later this evening and uh, I'll probably just come back and report that Editing was fine and nothing interesting happened, hopefully. So, um, yeah, thank you again. Have a lovely afternoon. I'm going to hand you over to ZF Beastie, who is playing a bit of PUBG. He's playing it with... Uh, okay, he's playing solos. Uh, so this is ZF Beastie playing a bit of PUBG solo. So I'll hand you over to him. All the best. Thank you again. Have a lovely afternoon and uh, cheerio.